More than a few people were puzzled by the way the final work in today's recital was listed in the festival leaflet. It was to be the first British performance of a work by J. Bach, and it was called I Steadford. And so far as anyone knew, none of the familiar Bachs had any connection with Wales. But the festival brochure proper explained all. The composer in question is an American called Jan Bach, who was born in 1937. And I Steadford is a set of variations he wrote in 1972 on a Welsh harp tune which first appeared in 1839. After the rehearsal this morning, I recorded an interview with the composer Jan Bach and Oshin Ellis. I asked him where he got the idea for his original and interesting work. Well, I heard a recording on the radio several years ago from uh, a Chicago FM station of Mr. Ellis singing the song the work was based on. It's really a set of variations that uh, follows pretty closely the type of variation technique Britain used where the variations are heard first and the theme is heard afterwards. And I was very intrigued by it. I liked it very much and I remembered it. And uh, when I had an opportunity to write a piece for the Orpheus Trio of flute, harp, and viola in the United States, I wanted to try to get away from the French influence of Debussy. Didn't entirely succeed, but I thought, well, what other country has a strong harp uh, tradition? Of course, I thought of Wales immediately. So I thought of this old piece, this old tune, and I thought I'd write a series of variations on it for the Orpheus Trio. Uh, let me let me ask you, Mr. Ellis. It it struck me as a, a very beautiful tune, and I'm but I'm sh terribly ashamed to say I had never heard it before. Should it, I have done? Is it is it really well known? Uh, in Wales, it is. Yes, mm. it's a, it's a march, uh, the departure of the king, a matter we bring. It's it's probably uh, an eighteenth century tune, uh, and the harpist used to compose these pieces, and they were passed on from one generation to another. It appears that it wasn't copied down and printed until about eighteen thirty nine in some Welsh edition. And then uh, um, it, I sing it in the Penillion style, w w where the harp plays a traditional melody, and I improvise above the melody, but keeping to the words, the set words. And the song, the particular song that I set, which you heard, is the song about King Arthur, the death of King, King Arthur. Yes, and, and your piece ends with a sort of instrumental variation of that technique that Mr. Ellis has just described, doesn't it? Yes, it begins with two cadenzas. You hear a viola cadenza and then a flute cadenza first supported by harp, and those two, I suppose, I would treat as the original added voice parts to the appearance of the original tune, uh, which appears near the end of the work. Yes. So you have these three parts going together, never having been heard simultaneously before. Is it really as difficult as it sounds for the harp? Yes, it's a very difficult work. It's uh, difficult for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, uh, it's a hard piece to learn. And um, we've, I've played it before. I haven't played it in England before. I've played it in Berlin, and of course it's been played in America by the other group, the group you wrote it originally for, the Orpheus. The Orpheus, too, yes. Yeah. Well, then, finally, Mr. Bart, may I ask you about your background? Because uh, one or two people were looking at the program. Well, actually, your Christian name isn't printed in full, it just oh. says J. Bark. People going around saying, first British performance, <laughs> is it J. C. or J. S., without yeah. realizing that uh, it was Jan? It's, it's S. in retrograde. My middle name is Morris. <laughs> uh, my mother's maiden name, but well, obviously I'm from the United States, and I had most of my training at the University of Illinois, where I studied with Kenneth Gaburo, who has some reputation as a contemporary composer. I've had studies with Thea Musgrave and Roberto Girard, who of course lived in Cambridge here. I studied with him at Tanglewood in Massachusetts, and other a few other composers as well. I have some music published, uh, a lot of small things, choral music mainly. And my interest in the Alborough Festival and in Britain's music, particularly, I think, stems from my interest in choral music, studies of his scores. And it was actually in 1974, when I saw Mr. Ellis here performing, that I thought he might be interested to know that I had written this piece several years before, using a tune I first heard him play and sing. Well, that was certainly justified this afternoon. So finally, congratulations to both of you, and thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.